amount of movement can be beneficial. However, of all the ways to stay fit, walking is often the easiest, safest, cheapest and most versatile way for the majority of people. By walking for 30 minutes, five or more days a week, or for a total of 150 minutes over the whole week, exercise can help to maintain a healthy weight. It can prevent, manage various health conditions, including heart disease, high blood pressure, type two diabetes and pulmonary conditions. It can strengthen your bones and your muscles. In fact, it can reduce muscle wasting. Exercise improves brain function and can reduce the risk of developing dementia as well as reducing the risk of developing certain cancers. It can help with balance and coordination, it can lift your mood and it can improve your sleep pattern. Now the further, faster and more frequently you walk, the greater the benefits within reason. Set yourself realistic goals. Try to increase your walking by say five or ten minutes each time you walk or by a quarter of a mile occasionally. Maybe add some interval training, for example, speed up for a minute or two out of five minutes or alternate a fast mile with two slower miles. If you want to increase your heart rate through walking, an option is to walk faster. Instead of taking longer steps, take faster steps. Lengthening your stride can increase the strain on your feet and on your legs. Swing your arms or consider the use of lightweight rubber tipped walking poles sold in many outdoor goods shops. Using poles enables you to cover more miles and makes walking a whole body exercise. Make it enjoyable, walk with a friend or a walking group. Walking groups help to motivate you. Before you start, make sure that you've checked with your GP, that your health conditions are stable and it is safe for you to increase the amount of exercise you're doing. Choose the right shoes, avoid stiff soled shoes that don't bend. Walking shoes are flexible soles and soft heel counters to prevent side to side motion. If you're walking on the pavements, comfortable cushioned lightweight shoes are fine. Please make sure you warm up and cool down as you would with any structured exercise class and add some leg stretches at the end to prevent soreness. Keep an eye on your posture when walking. Keep your head up, look forward rather than down. Relax your head, neck and shoulders and if you normally use a walking stick, please keep that with you. There are many wearable devices to monitor your heart rate response while you are increasing your walking, but then it's not necessary to purchase one of these, just judge for yourself how you feel. Are you breathing more heavily, but can you still hold a conversation? Apps which can be downloaded onto your mobile phone can be very helpful to not only monitor intensity through heart rate, but can be useful for counting steps of the distance you've covered, as well as helping you to plan your walk. And most organisations such as local and national parks have an application to help you. Apps will usually tell you what the terrain is like, whether there are busy roads or styles to negotiate, or if there are public toilets or cafes on your route. A reliable resource is the Walking for Health website. If walking is your passion, but the weather gets in the way, you could always invest in a treadmill and increase your walking while you're watching television. Good luck.